didn't really know what to break down tonight, so ask me whatever y'all want. I'm here. I'll be here for a little bit. We're going to talk boxing. Ins and outs. Wherever I can help, I'm going to try to help. If I don't know, I'm going to try to find out. What's going on? Talk to me. I know that's a random John, but we gonna see what's up. What y'all got on y'all minds? Let me know. I'm making it about the people tonight. <laughs> I'm making it about the people tonight. Tinker Shakur, honest answer. The thing is, right, with that fight, and this is the honest answer, right? Tank can hurt anybody, right? Tank can hurt anybody with the power he got. You know what I mean? With the skill set he got, he can set you up and hurt you. Shakur can beat anybody with the skill set he got. So that's why it's hard to pick for a, a, a fight like that. We never seen, it's not like I seen Tank in there with a style like Shakur and I can at least kind of gauge it a little bit. It's hard, it's hard to gauge in a situation like that because you're talking about two great fighters. You know what I mean? You're talking about two great fighters being there at, at, at the top of their game. It's, it's hard to say right now. We never seen Shakur with a puncher. We never seen Tank with somebody that sharp. That's why it's a great fight. What's the deal? Has Tiafimo lost his damn mind? Maybe. Sometimes I'd be thinking the same thing. Taylor or Tio, who you got? Like I said, if Tio comes sharp, comes smart, he could possibly pull it off. But with the mindset he's in, I, I got to go with Josh Taylor. I got to go with Josh Teller because Josh Teller brings different elements to the ring. Good body work, good jab, fight inside and out, tough guy. You know what I mean? He's not invincible, but I'm just saying, you got you to gotta be on your game if you're going to beat a Josh Teller. Not just going to beat him to lose this fight. He might be done. Let's be honest. Mental will be a shit. Mental will be shot. Yeah, that's possible. You think T.O. on the last nose, on that nose candy? <laughs> you never know, bro. The shit I'm seeing from fighters right now. New York fighters looking crazy right now, bro. They making crazy moves. What approach will Boots have with Villa? Will he box or walk him down? I think he going to box Villa. He got to box Villa. I think it's kind of crazy to go out there and just start a fight with Villa. I mean, that's what Villa really got on his mind. So I think it'd be smarter boost to go out there and box it for sure. I mean, we already could, we already kind of seen that he could be our box, but you got to be sturdy for 12 rounds. <laughs> I still wanted Shakur versus Comey at 135 just to test that puncher of Comey. Test the punching of Comey. I, I feel you, but I think Shakur is too sharp for Comey. What would be the first thing you would work on if you had TFEMO? Um, if I was training, I would the first thing I would uh work on what is more mentally about, you know what I mean, not really paying attention to the to the media, paying attention to social media. I mean, I would I would have him make a deal with me where he wouldn't spend his time watching what people are talking about, watching what others are doing, staying focused, you know what I mean, and making adjustments. Can this crazy Mindset, mindset help Tio somehow. I was thinking, what if he was on some Roberto Duran stuff? He might be, though. That's the thing. He might be bullshitting us all. He could be bullshitting us all. I don't know. I'm not sure. But, you know what I mean? We don't know. And the only reason we don't know is because of the last few performances. If he was doing all this and still whooping ass, nobody would be talking about it like that. But he, he not looking too good. Facts, I agree. I really don't know about that one, but Tank was Devin after seeing Lomachenko. I honestly think Tank get the knockout. But one thing you gotta, one thing you gotta understand about Lomachenko, he's a veteran and he's very fast, and very awkward. Tank, I'm not saying don't have it. What I'm saying is, it's a, it's it's still different styles, even though it's they similar in stance. They they two southpaws, but they still they fight different. And Lomachenko is a is a little bit better with the distance than Tank is. Tank just a great puncher. He, he, he well, great timing. His timing is great. I ain't gonna lie. 
Tio can't be in this right now. Yo, what happened with Whole Sweet Vargas? He went out bad. Yeah, Whole Sweet went out real bad. I don't know. I mean, I don't know the ins and outs with that, and I don't want to know. But Cuz went out real bad, though. He said, Cuz said, fuck everything. He threw everything away. He ain't throw his career away. He could do what he want with the boxing, but it's like, wow. Where did that come from? Josh too big for most 140 pounders. If he ever moves up, he gets washed at World Tour. I think he will have a hard time at Wash at World Tour because right now he is the big guy at 140. They really count on Cool Boy out. They crazy. Yeah, I don't know why though. And I know why, because he ain't knocking everybody out. But that's just the thing about boxing. You're not gonna knock everybody out. Who's the most talented fighter that you've seen in person? The most talented fighter I've seen in person. He used to be a kid named Dante Wright. I I swore when he was like 12 years old, I swore he was going to be champion of the world. Dante Wright was different, bro. Super fast hands, bro. Uh, Boo's big brother, Derek Poole Ennis, I seen him beat a lot of ass. He, I'm talking about embarrass people. I'm talking about make them look bad, bro. I seen some great ones in my life, though. But that was like, talent-wise, I'm saying talented. Pooh Ennis, Dante Wright, crazy. Who you think gives Boots his best fight right now? I think the, the best challenge for Boots right now is Jamel Charlo. Be honest. I think that's the best challenge for him right now. Jamel Charlo. What's the deal? T.O. be using that Mayweather shoulder rule. Is that something you can be taught? You can be taught it, yes, but dang, your confidence level, your, your timing, and your, your knowing your distance and things like that, that also, also counts. You know what I mean? Who you think is Boots' best fight? I just said it, Jamel Charlo. Fimo versus Teller. I think Teller or Edgy. Canelo was offered 50 million to fight Benavidez. If he doesn't take it, that's a duck, right? I would like to think so. Honestly, I would like to think so. Who feet better, Lomo or Tank? See, that's what I mean. They do different shit. So you can't really say somebody better, somebody got better feet. You know what I mean? They do different shit. They both got great footwork, but they do different shit. You know what I mean? And it's for different reasons. So I, I really can't say who got the better feet out of them two. Who you think it boosted this fight? Adorno versus De La Santos. That fight gonna happen? I think Adorno need to go back down to 130. So, HBO, I appreciate you, bro. Do you think Haney and Teller gonna cross past? I think they will. Why do you think Spence never moved weight class? I think he always can make 47. You think Carmel the real deal? What you like about him? I like Carmel. I like his. I like that even though he's short, he can box. Young, young, young boy can box. He can box and bang. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what I like about him so far. But he still is an amateur, so I can't. I don't want to put too much pressure on him because he's a young kid. But he is mature in the ring, and I do like that. Very mature in the ring. Salute. What's popping? Oh, geez, was good with the weather. Crazy. Yeah, we, this shit is not making any sense to me. Barcelona, my man, what's going on? David, what's popping? Boots versus Lubin at 54. I think Boots is too smart for Lubin. Erickson Lubin. I think Erickson Lubin will give him a good fight, but I just think he's too smart and too sharp. Jorge Linares versus Ryan Garcia. That would be a great fight. I will watch that fight. That's a great fight. Love you, Greg. You always come with the brilliant analysis and never bias. I respect. Appreciate you, bro. Are you watching AB fight? I'm going to try to. Yeah. I think it's this Friday, right? Can you cheat all, all the time? Like Bernard Hopkins and still be considered all-time great. I mean, every fighter has every fighter has little tricks of the trade that they do. You know what I'm saying? You can't get mad at that because you, you got to think about it. It's a fight. Now, think about this. Think about if somebody was assaulting you, right? And they was really trying to hurt you. 
and you bit their leg or you or you kicked them in the nuts or something like that. Is you wrong for that? Think about it. Think about it. Like really think about that. You in a fight, somebody trying to hurt you. They say you trying to really knock you the fuck out or or they just trying to choke you out, kill you, whatever, and you bite them and then kick them in the nuts. Is you wrong for that? It's a fight. It's still boxing. So it's gonna be some little tricks get done in there. For sure. The best thing to do is to is to learn those tricks. I wanna train with you. I appreciate that. Come see me. You got Spencer Bud. I got Bud. I think, but I think honestly, I think it's gonna be a great fight. I like Earl Spence, I like Terrence Crawford, but I think Bud is gonna win the fight. But not only do I think he's gonna win the fight, I think he's gonna stop Earl Spence in the seventh or eighth round. I like Julian Williams, but I think dude Carlos Adame is gonna crush him. Who you got in this fight? I don't think Adame is gonna. All right, put it like this: If Adame, this the, if you look at Adame's record, really, this really the best fighter he ever fought. If he going there looking for a knockout. I don't think it's going to happen. And I think if he stays slick, he uses boxing ability, he can make something happen. But I think if he go in there looking for a knockout, I think it's going to be a rude awakening for him. I think J-Rock going, you know what I mean, get him on the inside, rough him up. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. But Adamas could win the fight, and J-Rock could win the fight. Be honest. It's a good fight, Brother Greg. Does J-Rock still got it, or is it time to turn it in? I don't want to see Rosado vibes from him. I don't know. I got to see. I mean, I got to see. I got to see. You know what I mean? It, 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 boxing, boxing has a lot to do with where you are mentally in your life when it comes to fighting. You know what I mean? And if you, if you lose those things that made you great, if you lose those things... And sometimes, yeah, you could you be like, all right, I gotta give it up. But if you understand what it is you lost, and you and you try your best to get it back, and you go in there and give your all, I can't say what you know what I mean. What another man gonna do? J. Rod looked terrible his last time out. I think you talking about the fight before last. How you see Cool Boy next fight going? I think I think uh, anyway, it's gonna start off fast. I think he gonna try to get the Cool Boy quick as he can. But I think after four rounds. Cool boy will figure him out, slow him down, and not knock him up, but beat him up, like beat him up for a good 12 rounds. For for eight out of the 12, I think Cool Boy going to whoop him. Mike Tyson was in the game. Do you consider heavyweight class weak at the time? Nah. It was a, see, the thing about Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson was the guy you just ain't want to fuck with. A lot of people ain't want to fight Mike Tyson. Make sure y'all please go ahead and hit the like button. A lot of people didn't want to fight Mike Tyson. If you be real. Lennox Lewis was out. Riddick Bowe was out. It was a lot of guys out. They just didn't want to fight Mike Tyson. You know what I mean? And I understand why, but the division definitely wasn't weak. It was a lot of work around, but you know what I mean? They didn't want to make them fights. Zoo versus Boots in the future would be great. I think that is a future fight. Great observation. What's your thoughts on Tio and Taylor? Like I said, I think Taylor won't win by decision. What's the word, Mario? He even paid attention to that Earl beat three fighters that all beat Bud and the amateurs. And Bud never tried to fight any of the three. What three are you talking about? And let me say this. The amateur game is a three-round system. It used to be four rounds at one point, but then they moved it back down to three. It's a three-round system. It's way different when you fight in 12 rounds. It's way different when you take that head gear off. It's way different when you got that, that fine leather on. Trust me when I tell you. You think Clarissa can compete with Layla Ali? I think Clarissa Shields would have beat Layla Ali. I think her output is too high. I think her output is too high. Layla would have made it a great fight for sure. But I think I think Clarissa Shields' output would have got her to win. Nah, G boy, you don't believe that. I don't believe what? What's good, King? What's popping? A.B. Friday, yeah, I'm going to try to check him out. Is Jaime Munguia ever going to actually fight someone? I like this fight with Devrachenko, but it's the right time for Devrachenko. He damn near 40 years old, you know what I mean, and Jaime Munguia. I don't know what the issue is with Jaime Munguia. They, I guess they're not ready to sacrifice him just yet. Need your info. Hit me on Instagram, Greg Hackett 86 Greg, have you paid attention? Uh, I wonder what anyway's power is going to look like moving up. That's a great question. Like button, everybody. Please hit the like button, everybody. 
Why does Rooley and Pitbull Cruz get more love from black people for getting beat up than Boots get for winning? Well, that's a great question. But the thing with Boots is, like, people want to see him in a great matchup. The, the problem is when you're talented like Boots, when you work hard like that, a lot of people don't look like great matchups. So that's really what it is. I think Boots will get a lot of respect, a lot more respect after the Villa fight because Villa is the real deal. Do you train any Masters Division fighters? Uh, I work with one guy we got down in our gym. Yeah, I mean, he fighting the Masters. I'm not his head trainer, but, yeah, I definitely work with him. Why everybody think Taylor going to whoop T.O. If we get the T.O. that Fort Lomo, you don't think he'll beat him? Yeah, but that's if we get that guy. Remember, that guy was clear-minded. The guy we get now, we don't know what's going on with him. What's going on? You think Haney or Shakur should beat Barrios? Better yet, stop him. Could beat Barrios, better yet stop him. Ah, it's possible. But Bar Barrios is a, is a great test for both of them. You never know. Any man could be broken up, bro. Any man could be knocked out. Any man could be hurt. You know what I mean? Better be at versus Smith, what you think? What you think is? What you mean, Joe Smith? Better be have already crushed on him. Oh, you talking about Columns? Caleb? Is it Caleb Smith or Caleb Smith? I think Better be have too. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm biased when it comes to Better be have. I think Better be have the craziest heavyweight. I mean, light heavyweight in the game right now. I think he the most. I think he the most dangerous light heavyweight in the game right now. Who wins, Terence Crawford, Pernell Whitaker? Great fight. I don't know, bro. I can't lie. Pernell, one of my favorites. All time. Who you got, Haney or Regis? I think Haney too smart for Regis and too too great a shape for Regis. Regis can fight, though. Regis got raw talent. He got shit in there. He got shit he do in there. People just don't understand. But at the same time, you could tame him, though. You can tame him. And, and, and Regis got this thing with the, like, eighth round. I don't know what it is. Seventh, eighth round, you start getting tired. Why do Spence fans discredit Bud and his resume? Why can't we just respect both guys' accomplishments and be thankful we get in this fight? That's how I feel. I feel like this is one of the best fights in boxing, you know what I mean, in a long time. And I'm glad we get in this fight. I don't know. See, T.O. stopping Josh with the... One two down the pipe. They could it, it, it could happen. I'm not saying I'm not saying Tio can't beat him. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is if he go in there looking for one shot and he don't get that one shot and he start getting discouraged, it could get ugly for him. How would Thurman versus Ugas go? Thurman and Ugas are gonna be a firefight. I think if Thurman pick his spots where he wanna fight, I I think he could pull it off a, a dub. But if he try to fight Ugas the whole fight, I think Ugas will uh, uh, outwork him. If he try to sit on the inside with Ugas. But Keith Thurman do use his legs pretty good. So I think if Keith Thurman bouncing in and out, timing him real good, making him miss, you know what I mean? I think Keith Thurman can get that win. I believe Bud going to beat Spence. But how do you see Bud and Charlo going? I think Charlo too big for Bud. I'm not going to lie. I think he too big for him. But I can't say that. But Charlo, I mean, I mean, listen, uh, Crawford got great skills, but I think Charlo is just overwhelming, very overwhelming. And then, and then you gotta be real, knocking out Jamel Charlo. I don't really see that happening, especially since Bud would have to go up and put on the ten ounces, taking off the eights, putting on the tens. I mean, the shot not gonna be the same. But I do see Bud being strong. At 54, but I don't think he'll, he'll knock him out. Why haven't we seen Leo Santa Cruz since Tank fight often? Why you think? Why haven't we seen Pitbull since Tank fight? Bag must be crazy. I think they just got plans for them dudes, you know what I mean? They trying to figure out what they're going to do with Leo Santa Cruz. And maybe he just ain't ready to come back. I don't know. But with... Pitbull Cruz, we definitely, I think we seen him back once. Did we see him back once after that fight? You know what I mean? And Pitbull Cruz, I think they just trying to line him up for something good. You think AB still got it? I think he still got something in there. Matias versus Regis. I think Matias and Regis would be a great fight, but I think Matias, 
I'll possibly stop Regis like in the tenth round. Salute from West Australia, by the way, at East Oakland. What's going on? Sam, what's popping? Hearns versus Crawford. Tommy Hearns is one of them guys, man. He hurt you. Hurt you with a jab. Hurt you with a right hand. Can box really well. Keep his distance really well. I don't know. That would have been a good one. You got you to gotta be very alert fucking with a, a Tommy Hearns. You got to be always locked in. You can't play with him. Did Boots pick Spence or Bud? I got Spence. Did Boots pick Spence or Bud? I don't know. Who you got, Ugas or Roka? Ugas versus Roka. Mm, that's a great fight. I like Roka. I like Roka a lot. I think Roka is coming. He coming into his style and really who he is and understanding what he can do. He looked good that last fight. And then Ugas would be a good one. Boots and Thurman would have been a good fight, really. I believe, too, but I think Thurman just didn't want that fight. Not yet. You know, Marty, Bull State coming at Bud. I'm just happy they fighting. Yeah, I know who Marty is. I don't know why he be doing that, though. In my opinion, when a fighter got a big fight coming up and they talking about all these other fights and the interviews is up, still going to take a beating. Could have what happened with Paul Crow. Haven't heard about him for a while. He fought a um, I think it just fought an eight rounder, like two weeks ago. Should Boots call out Thurman after Villa? I mean, I think that would be the best fight after Villa. What up, Greg? Sean Love, I appreciate you. Do you see Ortiz versus Stanion is going the distance, and do you think Virgil's power is overrated? I don't. I don't see it going the distance and. I can't really say his power overrated. I think, but I think I do think he is strong. I think he's very physically strong, just like Earl Spence. When I watch uh, Virgil Ortiz, I do think he's physically strong. And it's crazy watching them guys because they look like fifty-four pounders. Which sparring partners do you think help the fighter Shakur and Bud or EJ and Jamel Charlo? What you mean by that? What sparring partners do you think help the fighter? Shakur and Bud or EJ and Jamel? I don't get I don't get exactly what you're asking me. Subaru Matias is a bad dude. I agree. Have you heard of AB's opponent? Yeah, I heard of him. I seen him fight before too. He um little scrappy kid, short scrappy kid, strong kid. You know what I mean? From Pittsburgh. Not the best skill wise, but he he when I when I say scrappy, he gonna fight you. He's gonna definitely try to fight you. Yeah, pit, pit Bull beat Gamboa. Right. See, the only versus Virgil. If Haney move to 140, will he be ducking Shakur? No. See, this is what y'all got to think about, and I keep I keep repeating myself. This is what you got to think about when Devin Haney going to 140. Devin Haney turned pro when he was 16, 17 years old at 135 pounds. So what I'm trying to say is he's been 135 his whole entire career. Shakur is growing into 135. So he's been, he's turned pro at 126 and he's gained titles at 26 and 30 and now moving to 35. Devin Haney has been at 35 the entire time. So Devin Haney is growing out of the division. It's time for him to go up. Boost pick Spence because they said buzz start slow. Matias reminds me of Trinidad. I think the power, but that's about it. The styles are different. T.O. will attempt to box and counter all night. I see Taylor's pressure breaking T.O. down. A fight will break out after five. I could see that happening. That's a great observation. Taylor versus Danny Garcia at 140. That's a great fight. Danny Garcia at 140 was deadly. I think Boots get the winner of Ortiz staying on this or... That's down the line. I think that fight down the line, but I don't think it's too far away. I think we might, we might see like one or two fights in between that, and then we'll get one of them. Did Boots really spar 25 rounds with no water? I never watched him spar 25, but I did see him do like 16 with no water. But the, the no water thing is just what they do down there. You don't, you don't, you're not getting no water in between the rounds. Nobody's getting water in between the rounds. So that's like, it's not just boots down there. That's just a rule. That's just a rule when you sparring. You're not getting no water. You know what I'm saying? Where was the outrage for a rematch when Lomachenko versus Ortiz happened? Lomachenko versus Ortiz. Oh, I think because Lomachenko was the favorite and, and um, Jermaine Ortiz... 
was being looked at as a kid that, just, that, just, that was just getting a shot. And, you know, he did his best, but it wasn't a demand for it because at the time, I mean, Jermaine Ortiz wasn't like a big fan favorite. He's he's became a fan favorite after that fight, but it's, it's not like he's, you know what I mean? People's demanding to watch, to watch Jermaine Ortiz. So I think that's why it wasn't a big, you know, argument about a rematch. And the fight was a good fight, but he... He definitely lost to Lomachenko. I feel if AB still got it, would love to see AB versus Ryan. That'd be a good joint. Rashim Jefferson, what happened to him? 6 0 last time I checked. He's still boxing. He's still from Philly. He from Philly, I think. Yeah, he'll be he'll be back. What you think? He just going through a situation right now. What you think of all this going on with Ryan and Oscar, I think they need to get their business straight, man. And stop playing around before they miss out on some money. The OG will Shakur fan, lose fans if he fights Tank the way he fought Nak Nakatalia, or should he step the Tank like he did Yoshino? Feeling here's the thing. Here's the thing. I can see Shakur at 135 feeling a lot stronger, but losing fans, I don't think I don't think he'll lose fans because that's that's just a great fight. So if we can get that fight, I think people more people would you know what I mean attach themselves to Shakur because that would be a great fight. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's not smart to walk into a fire. Who are your favorite old school boxers? I'm James Tony Bull. I like um Hector Camacho, Berto Duran. I like I like uh shit. Uh, I like Meldrick Teller. I like uh, Sweet Pea Whitaker. Mark Two Sharp Johnson. Uh, Miguel Cotto at 140. I mean, I got a nice list, man. I got a lot of guys I like. Boots, Duck, and Wilder. Ah! Frank Martin versus Cambosis. I think Frank Martin will make, make like, Short work of Cambosis. I think Cambosis would be a good fight, though, because he's active. But I think he make too many mistakes. He'll put himself in trouble. Frank Martin. What do you think about Nico Ali Walsh? The decision that was in the last look questionable. I think he's I think he's more like a gimmick. I don't think he I don't think Ali Walsh is really serious about being champ one day. I think they just try to run a gimmick with him. I feel like when when he fight. I feel like his whole career is like based off Bob Aram owing Ali a favor, Muhammad Ali. So he letting his grandson run. And then, you know what I mean? I don't know what that's about, though. Shh, this shit crazy. My bad, y'all. Going through some real shit right now with this hair bump. <clears throat> <clears throat> In what ways do you see Crawford dealing with Spence pressure? But does Buzz step inside and bang with Spence more than many people believe? I think, all right, so sometimes, right, when you're dealing with a puncher, the best way to get to them is to cut the power off. What I mean by cutting the power off is instead of letting, if you notice when Earl Spence punch, he, he trying to hit you. Even though he throwing big punches, he trying to get the land on the end of the punch. So when he let a body shot out, it's a nice. It, it start off wild, but he cut it in sharp, and you land on the, it. Land on the end of the punch. When he jab, he extends his jab fully. I think what Bud gonna have to do in those times when 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 Spence is closing in, he gotta crowd him. You know what I mean, sit inside of the punches, slip inside, catch the punches. You know what I'm saying? And he gonna have to rip with him. One thing I'm I'm intrigued about is. Seeing how Earl Spence take a good body shot. We never really seen nobody go to Earl Spence's body. And I think that's going to be part of the game plan for uh, Terrence Crawford. Is to go to his body and try to slow him down. Because we never really, if we be honest, we never really seen nobody go to Earl Spence's body. And I know it wouldn't be smart for most fighters, but I mean, when you're great, you got to do great things. But using Shakur and EJ... Is using Jamal's with camp. Which one help and why? Oh, well, they just using them for the looks. With Jamel, with Jamel, you just getting good, strong work. You're getting consistent work. 
I can't really see Jamel mimicking Terrence Crawford too much. Now, same thing with Shakur. You're just getting sharp work. Shakur is the type of work that's going to help you for your eyes. Jamel is the type of work that's going to condition your body. You know what I mean? If you understand what I'm saying. Who do you think you do better against Bud or Spence? Who do you think you do better against Bud or Spence? With me, uh, if I was in tip-top shape, uh, I don't know. I, I, I like... I like what they both do, and I see where I would have to adjust, but I don't know. Me in tip-top shape, I think I beat both of them. I don't know. I can't say. That's just how my mind works. If I was ever in tip-top shape and I was able to get them fights, <laughs> in a perfect world, had I done everything perfect, had I took care of my body, had I not, you know what I mean, been out here fucking around... And taking fights short notice and doing all and fighting in my right weight class. I don't know. I think I would have fought both of them dudes. I'm older than both of them though. By I got I think I got bud by like a year. And I got spent by like four years or some shit. Would have been great. Which all time great does boots remind you of? I can't say. Can't really say. I can see Telly get <gasps> I can see Teller getting stopped. I'm not going to lie. Teller, skill set is below average to me. He just got a will. I wouldn't say below average. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you basing it off one fight you saw with Teller, but I don't know. I think Teller better than what people think. How can Cool Boy beat the monster? I got money on Cool Boy. Cool Boy, listen. Cool Boy going to be a lot stronger than what y'all think. Going to be in great shape. Um, the monster, one thing about him, he's spoiled. He needs you to be in a certain spot for him to do what he want to do. I don't think Cool Boy going to get in between. Greg, outside of boxing, I'm on, what did I say? Finest to ride for fair growth ass dermatologist. I'm the one that works well. So, that's going to fair. For hair growth? You want me to grow my hair? I don't even know what you're talking about. EJ taking taking the belts at 147. EJ vacating and going to rematch. But I, could, I mean, it could happen. On the last stand podcast, they compared Tank is the Iverson to boxing. What you think? Nah, I, would, I wouldn't say Iverson. I wouldn't say Iverson. Iverson would have never put no pocketbook on it, be honest. Cool Jack is the GOAT. Just had to let y'all know. Appreciate that. Make sure I hit the like button, though. Appreciate that, man. Like, subscribe, share. You feel me? I think Bud and Clinch is going to disrupt Spence inside game. Both the Porter and Brooke Spence was getting work in the clinch. It's a great observation. Haney will never get the benefit of the doubt for anything, no matter how much sense it makes. People dislike him and Bill too much. Yeah, that is, I think it's crazy how they, I mean, be going at them. But one thing about Haney, he know how to win. He know how to win and he has the will to win. Bud can wrestle. Spence don't know how to use his leverage and his hips in the clinch. That's a great observation. Great observation. Dave, I appreciate that. Hitchens versus Montana Love is a fight. A lot of people not talking about who you got. I got Richard Hitchens in that fight. I think Richard Hitchens is coming into his... His own, where he's understanding who he is and what he's and what he has, and I think he's going to outbox Montana Love. I think Montana Love is going to get very frustrated in that fight. It's not going to be easy for either one, but I think Montana Love is going to get frustrated in that fight, and I don't think he's going to be able to handle it. Which part of boot skill set is more advanced, it's offense or defense? Mm. I would say it's offense. It's more advanced. I would say that. Keyshawn versus Ortiz. Keyshawn versus Jermaine Ortiz. Keyshawn versus Jermaine Ortiz. That'd be a great fucking fight. That'd be an interesting fight. Great fight. That's it. I gotta think about it. I never thought I never thought about that fight. I gotta think about that fight. 
Ali got gifted. Nico Ali got gifted draw in his last fight. I didn't even see that fight. I gotta see it. Peace King. Who do you think is the king of 135 and why? I think I think the best complete fighter at 135 right now is Tank Davis. That's just what I think. I'm a barber, Greg, telling you. You finish. Finish the ride is the truth. Don't ignore what works for hair growth. So what you saying? Put it on my beard? Is that what you saying? Put it on my beard? You saying my beard look nappy? My joint look patchy? I know my shit patchy. You think Tank's career will get fueled by this jail stuff? I feel like his first fight back will be packed. It can work for marketing and our culture feeds off of drama and feed off overcoming. True. And I think it will. You're right. Is Canelo ducking Benavidez if he fights Badu Jack at Cruiserweight? I think Canelo thing is he trying to do as much as he can in boxing. So fighting a Badu Jack is a big jump. And not fighting Benavidez is like... I mean, and fighting Benavidez is way more dangerous than fighting Badu Jack probably to him because of Badu Jack's age, of Badu Jack's wear and tear. I mean, you can't be an all-time great and quit in the biggest fight of your career like Duran did. Imagine if Floyd quit against Manny. Yeah, but that was different circumstances too. You know what I mean? You got to understand the circumstances. You got you to gotta understand for Roberto Duran, after he beat um, Sugar Ray Leonard, he was the, the biggest thing coming out of his country and one of the biggest fighters in the world. And he got, you know, he got caught up into the fame part. He was having great fun. You know what I mean? And that night when they rushed him back in the ring, knowing that he was fat and out of shape, you know what I mean? He didn't have it. And he felt it where he couldn't really get the Leonard the way he wanted to. He could, his body wasn't responding. So he, I, I could imagine he had like this, hope, this hopeless feeling. You know what I mean? Where he couldn't respond like he wanted to. So he quit. And he quit because he could get hurt in there. You know what I mean? And, you know, yeah, he paid for it. But at the same time, still a great fighter because he went, I think he went up highest light heavyweight. Like, let's be real. How many, how many 126 pounders you know fight at light heavyweight one day? Let's be real. So that's why you, so that's why you got to call him great. You don't gotta call him great because his cause his name is Roberto Duran. You gotta call him great because he done shit that a lot of men, a lot of men wouldn't even try. They wouldn't even they wouldn't even attempt to do some shit like that. Being a hundred and twenty six pounder and then jumping all the way up to light heavyweight, that's insane. I mean Jamel hand broke and rehabbing, so he can't even work with butt right now. Jamel, I don't know. You think Six is going after Chris Paul? I don't know. I ain't been following basketball. Give us the game plan of beating Shakur. What would you tell your fighter? Well, what it, well, what it depends on is what kind of fighter you have. You know what I mean? All fighters are different. But me, you know what I mean? When he gives you that shoulder, I'm, I'm definitely telling my fighter to punch on that shoulder. Wear his body out. You definitely got to move your head, but you can't move straight back. Shakur is very sharp punching on straight lines. You know what I mean? If you... If you stand in front of Shakur, you're done. So you got to give him good angles. You got to keep a tight defense. Got to be moving your head, touching that body. And like I said, working your way back up. But you can't get caught up in trying to hit Shakur in his head. He great at keeping his distance. My bad, bro. Who do you think can beat Tank? Who do I think can beat Tank? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Great fight for Tank. I think one of the best tests for Tank would be Richard Hitchens because of the height. Because of the height and the skill set. The combination of the two. I'm going to keep it real. But maybe we'll see that fight one day. I don't know. Most, mostly all the TNT fighters have signed under Floyd or was signed under Floyd through the Philly Shell, a.k.a. Mayweather defense. I noticed. Yeah, I mean, they. you got to understand, they was training under them guys. So they didn't just pick it up because they see him doing it. You training under Roger, you training under Big Floyd. They got him doing that shit. Earl gonna break butt face. Hey, big statement. Have you seen me fight before? No, I never seen you fight. You gotta you gotta send me some tape. The shocker is that Crawford will be physically stronger than Spence in the clinch. 
Could be. How many times do you think Tank got tried in jail already? Not just yet. I don't think nobody said nothing to him yet. Everybody knew who he is. They still speaking to him and see, seeing what's up with him. Court one fan. Court one fan been waiting. Appreciate that. How would you see Wilder Usyk playing out? I think Wilder is too big for Usyk. Too too explosive. I ain't going to lie. I think, I think Usyk is, is a great fighter. But I don't think he can get away from Wilder all night. <clears throat> Keyshawn versus Gary Antoine Russell would be a banger. That would be a banger. I would love to see that fight. Whitaker and Mayweather in their prime. Hard to say, bro. We talking about a great fight. That's a fight I need to see 15 rounds. You need to collab with Gilly and Wallow. Would be a great show. Y'all funny as hell. Hey, somebody let them know. For your hair period, you will see a big difference. And hairline as well as dermatologist, promise you. Just send it. Hey, yo, hey, Chris, send me the info to my Instagram, Greg Hacker 86 I want to see what you're talking about. Because you basically saying my bear is shitty. <laughs> and I don't want my hair in my head to grow. This shit grow too fast. Andre Wood said he was thinking about coming out of retirement at one point to fight Anthony Joshua. How do you think that goes? Honest. I think Joshua was a big guy, man. And I saw what he saw. But I think he's just too strong for Andre Ward. I don't know. That was, that was That's a big order, bro. Yeah, the wave's definitely coming in. AB versus Ryan Garcia, great fight. AB, I have to be letting his hands go, though. If he don't let his... If he don't let his hands go, AB... I mean, if... uh. If AB don't let his hands go, Ryan Garcia won't respect him. Shakur versus Haney, I'd, I'd better, I'd better at one forty both women come in to their power. I mean, you just never know. A lot of these guys killing themselves to make the weights they make him, bro. But I don't think one two one thirty five too bad on Shakur. I think it's starting to kill Devin though, cause he's been making it his whole career. From what you see in the gym, has the Cuban boxer spar boots in if. So how's that session? We not in the same gym no more. So I ain't I ain't get to see uh, Andy Cruz box yet. No hate, G. But every time you brush your hair, I think about poor girl said Joe Torre and the poetic justice. <laughs> the boy Chicago man Tank hurt Hitchens early. It would be bad. I think Tank hard fight would be someone like Subriel Matias. It could be right. You mess with Mark Castro. Here's the thing, though. We don't know if Tuberell Matias can take a, a tank punch. And we don't know if Tank can take Tuberell Matias punch. So I understand that. Do you think Michelle Rivera can still be a contender? I think he'd be a contender for sure. But they're going to give him a hard time now after getting caught up. What up, G? Just you know, able to tap in. Appreciate that. And your opinion, what was the five toughest fights for Floyd? I think the five toughest fights was... Uh, one of his early fights with, with um, Emmanuel Augustus, I think, uh, I think uh, Mandana, I think Castillo won, Castillo won, Mandana, I think, uh, I think Mayweather, I think Mayweather in um, De La Hoya was a tough one, and I think Cotto was a tough one. But you know what? I'm tripping too because Shane Mosley was a tough one because he had him hurt. Shane Mosley had him hurt bad early in that fight. How do you feel about trainers that never boxed? I, I think I, I wouldn't say they don't know what they're doing. I think that takes a little bit from what they do know and what they understand. And they just basically going off eye tests. From not being from not being in there, I think it takes a little bit away. But that don't take away what you can do as a teacher. But when there's certain situations happen in there, I think they don't understand it. In your opinion, what was the no, I read that one. Prime A B versus Prime Tank. Yikes. That's a great fight. Cause A B was electrifying at 130. So I don't know, man. If Ward comes out of retirement, he should fight Canelo. No cherry picking. I would love to see that fight. Is Cool Boy still part of your gym? No, Cool Boy don't. Cool Boy's training at Danny Garcia gym. When Spence stopped Bud, you think he gonna give Boots his shot? If if Bud don't want his get back, I I can't see that happening. I think they both going to fifty four. Gonna do the rematch at fifty four. Ryan Garcia said he will fight Isaac Cruz at one forty. Could he beat Isaac Cruz? Cruz body. 
work might put Ryan Garcia down again. Yeah, I think it'll get ugly for him. Zab Judah was tough. First six round. Zab was tough. Zab Mosley, yeah. Head moving versus blocking, parrying. What would you say is more important? I think I think the most important thing is getting your hands back up. But the head movement, catching the shots. We don't say parrying, we say catching. You know what I mean? Um well my from my gym terminology we use is catching. Um slipping the shots, I think all are valid. Just look up uh finish line hair regrowth and plus it is great health benefits. Ask the dermatologist where you would think. All right, I got you, bro. I'm gonna forget that name, bro. Hmm, I gotta write it down. I gotta write it down, bro, because I'm gonna forget, bro. I'm gonna forget that shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm gonna forget it. My, my memory ain't that crazy, bro. Alright, I got it. Appreciate you. Zab, hit the like button. People appreciate y'all. Tap that like button for me. Don't be typing paragraphs. Why do they kill themselves to make weight instead of fighting that natural weight? Because that's just the way, way it go now. Ever since they started the, the next day, Fighting the day after the weigh in, you know what I mean? That's what that's what you see a lot of good guys doing. When I turned pro, they were still doing weight same day weigh in in Pennsylvania. So, I mean, I know what it's like to fight the same day weigh in. I did that a couple times, but yeah, you know I mean, I don't know. Dudes be looking, dudes be looking for the advantage. Cool me, Floyd fight, real shit. What feels better, a win as a trainer or a win as a fighter? Uh, of course, a win as a fighter, but as a trainer, it, it makes me feel great because I'm, I'm getting to watch my work. You know what I'm saying? So I take I take coaching more serious than I do fighting because, you know I mean, just how I just came up and how everything went with, with me fighting. I took it more serious. I just was having fun with the game, just rolling. You know what I'm saying? But as a coach, man, this shit feel great. Is the jab first thing you teach your fighters? Hell yeah. Footwork, really. Really footwork. I'm from Wayne Ave. I hit your IG DM, bro. Get back to me when you're free. I got you. Devin Haney. Shout out to Wayne Ave, too, bro. Wayne Ave Day used to be the shit. Devin Haney, the most slept on with lightweight. Got one of the best resumes at lightweight. That's true. We got some great fights on that. Hey, Chris, I used to... Yeah, well, for my bear growth. Me no Exodel. Thanks for answering that question. Another one. Would you say fighters should focus on developing punch and power? Or is it or is it neg how you say that? Negligible. Oh neg neg negligible for them. Um well you are born with power. You are born with it. So you either have it or you don't. But your punch placement, you know what I mean? That's what you want to develop. Placing your punches. You know what I mean? You should definitely focus on placing your punches. Your toughest fight in your career. And why? My toughest fight. One of my toughest fights was a guy named, a white guy named Dustin Reinhold. This is one of them. Dustin Reinhold, I took that fight with him, I think, two weeks notice. I fought him in Connecticut at the um, Mohegan Sun. He, he, the crazy thing about him, right? He was in jail for ten years, and he came home. He was on he was on uh he was on pro parole or some shit. And he had a fucking ankle bracelet on. He killed the guy in the bar and punched on him, knocked him out, killed him. Cause the guy hit his dad. I read the articles and shit after the fight. And when me and him fought, man, that was one of the toughest fights. You know and I mean, I fucked up before that fight. I did some nut shit, but that was a great fight. Me and Dustin Roundhold at um in Connecticut, Connecticut at the Mohegan Sun. That was a great fight. Um. I fought a guy named Mike El Congre Ruiz from New York. Uh, I took that fight on three-day notice. I took that fight on a Saturday night, and I fought him on a Wednesday night at the Yoshi, Yo, what was it called? Yoshi, Yoshi in the Ballroom, Yoshi in the Ballroom in New York and Brooklyn. Yoshi in the Ballroom, um, six rounder. He was very strong. He he had did a great camp with um. He was with Paulie Malnagi and some other guys. 
He had did a camp with some guys from Brooklyn. So he was in prime shape. Me, I was in the bar when I took that fight. I went running the next day, lost like 10 pounds. You know what I mean? Aired out. I think I ran one more day. Uh, Monday, trained a little bit Monday. Went up to New York on Tuesday. You know what I mean? Weighed in. And then we fought on Wednesday. So that was a great fight too. Um, me and Alantez Fox was a great fight. Alantez Fox, that was a tough fight because he was in shape and he was 6'5". I mean, big motherfucker, but that was a great fight too. Um, I had a jaw with a guy that had, he he was Owen, I think he was Owen too. A guy named John Fairley. He was tough as shit. Oh, hey, bro, you can hit him with a bat. He gonna eat that shit. You know what I mean? So... That's why that fight was tough. I had to hit him with everything I had hit. <laughs> Great fight, though. You know what I mean? I've been in some good ones, though. Some real good ones. A lot of a lot of good fights, though. I took a lot of my fights from short notice. What are some ways to beat the, the Philly shell? Well, they, the thing is about a Philly shell, right? You, you basically fighting a one-armed man. So beat that shoulder up and abuse that left side. And then go over the top of that shoulder. Dump that shit on top of the head. Top rank need to cut the check and let you call fights. Get Tim Bradley out of there. Hey, if they don't want me, if they if they let me just do my thing, I'll do it. But all that reading and script and shit, I ain't with all that. And then lying about fights, I ain't with all that. I don't think that'd be really Tim Bradley really calling it how he see it. I think Tim Bradley be reading a script. Because the shit he be saying be sounding crazy. If you could train in cornerman for any three fighters in the game right now, who would it be? Uh, who would it be? I don't like picking guys that's nice. I like guys that's not. I mean, not only shit. I mean, that's not at the best right now. I like. I like. I like going in there and really working on shit. So I don't want to work with somebody that's like world champion. I don't want to. That's not fun. It's not fun because he already made. He already on his shit. I like guys that need that need the work. You know what I mean? So it'll be three guys that just need the work. Lomo versus Oshaki Foster. I like that fight. Who you got, Jay? I think Lomo too much for Oshaki Foster right now. Hit the like button, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Like, which fighters do you think you could take their game to the next level? Uh, sure. We back this summer. Um, oh yeah, I'll be up there. If y'all coming, if, if, if Wayne F. Day coming back this summer, tell them Greg Haggett coming through there. For sure. I might not be out there for a long time, but I'm coming through. No, I ain't, I can't fuck with Hosea Vargas. Heard wasn't my toughest fight? No. When I fought Jared Heard, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was, I was having my way, bro. I don't, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. And I know it sounds crazy. I mean, people wouldn't believe it, but, bro, I don't think I lost to Jared Hurd at all, bro. Fight Towns, I ain't watched a new one with Houston. No, I'm going to check it out, though. But but Jared Hurd, bro, I ain't going to lie. It was a good fight. It was a good fight. I ain't I ain't taking nothing from him, but I don't think I lost that fight. If Bullet fight, like, Roley probably got Calvin. Have you ever coached a fighter in a fight that might... That night, the fighter just don't do anything you train for. Yeah, I had that happen to me before. I wonder where Dustin is now. Uh, shit, that's a round hole. I don't know. Last I checked, me and him talked years ago on Facebook. Yeah, you know, I think he got married. And he was chilling, raising his son and shit. Coach Bullet or Coach Calvin? I don't know. <laughs> I like Tank and shit. Corey got a fight done and he said more Tank. More so tank if you let Haney move up and fight Regis. He getting experience with the guy with power even if they better than him. Yeah, but that's the game. And Dev is Dev's career to do what he want with it. To the point where he might know how to weather the storm from experience and pull off the win against him. He challenges himself more than the other two in my opinion. What do you think about that? That's a great observation. But guess what? It's his career to do what he want. Couldn't wait for my first developmental this week. I understand why some boxers get big after they retire. Real shit. <clears throat> Who is your favorite five fighters that's currently fighting 
and five that aren't currently fighting. Top five that's currently fighting. I like Bud. I like Cool Boy. I like Better BF. Fury. Better BF Fury. And Jabril Noble. Other than what and then my then my five that's not fighting James Tony, Pernell Whitaker, Hector Camacho, Tyson, uh, Prince Nassim Hamad, Roy Jones, some shit like that. Yeah, Tim Bradley is the ultimate company man. When are your fighters going to be showcased next? Uh, I got some. I got two fighters, uh, June twenty fourth, and then my amateurs. We you know we get it popping in and out. We just catch dates, and then I got some other shit in the bag for y'all. I ain't gonna open that bag up just yet. Thurman versus Ugas. Who you got and why? I think Ugas will work. I'll work Thurman. That's just in my opinion. But it could go the other way. I don't know. That's a good fight. Have you seen Stacy Selby fight? Bar. Yeah, Stacey Selby and uh, Jabril Noble, my fighter, they got it in some years ago during COVID, and it was that was a crazy joint. They got it in real good. I like Stacey Selby, though. Strong kid. Haney versus Regis. Who you got? Her or LB? Haney versus Regis. I think Haney's too sharp for Regis. Who you got? Her or LB? I think Hearn too big for LB. I see Haney and Shakur meeting up at 47. Did you know about Hector Camacho and Teddy Atlas fighting? No, I never knew about that fight. Hey, listen, y'all. I got to get out of here. I'm sorry about that. I appreciate the donation to Duke, Duke 365. Um, I got to get out of here and get ready for tomorrow. I uh, fucks with y'all. Thanks for tapping in, man. I know this was unexpected. You know what I'm saying? Uh, B-Hop versus War would have been a great fight. Um, I appreciate y'all, man, for fucking with me. Thanks for coming through. You know what I mean? Get with me. Greg, would you do influencer boxing? I'll rumble anybody, bro. As long as it's right. Bet the house on Cool Boy to be anyway. Hell yeah. Bet the house, the car, the dog, whatever you got. He gonna whoop you. Thurman and Ugas will be close, but I'll give Thurman the edge because he's more skilled. That's true. I'll be looking for you, bro. Appreciate y'all, man. Get with me. Thank you, man. I appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. Fucking with me. I gotta go get ready for tomorrow, man. I'll see y'all. And I mean... Any questions, send them to my DM, Instagram, you know what I mean, Facebook, or Twitter. I'll be on Twitter sometimes. I tap in there. I ain't a big fan of Twitter, but Instagram, you can catch me for sure. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Get with me. Got you.